Timoth Milk 12 here and welcome back to Fallout London. Last time we made our way back down to Greenwich, uh, had a bit of an explore and we left off here outside the Royal Observatory. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a mooch inside, see what we can find. Oh, that's the, uh, the fountain from the GNN building. Okay, we've got more nymphs. They're not too too tough. We've got a lot of them, in fact. Uh, have I got mollies? Yes, I do. Oh, I've got a lot of frag grenades, actually. Uh, and I've got three. I thought I said six. I mean, I might have to get rid of the chameleon chest plate. Oh, got one. They got a way up. Yes, yes, they have. Right, took a molly there. Uh, I've got a frag mine. Which I'm also going to check down. Something's behind me. Uh, re equip. I'm going to equip the grenades actually. Oh, we've got glowing. Oh, dog, don't run into the flipping glowing horrible bastard. Oh, that dog. Come here, you silly boy. I think they've all run off upstairs. There's a glowing one. Oh, Churchill. Jeez. Whoa. Good job there. Seriously, 56 at this range. I'm right next to him. There we go. Don't let them bite you. Oh, they got a ranged attack. The door's been opened. <laughs> I not got any ammo for that. Hold that. Oh, it's 
just gonna let him run into the mine. No, he's not gonna run into the mine. Come on, he was right there. Did he not see me? Yes, he didn't. He's over there now. I think that was the glowing one. Yeah, he's already uh, nearly gone. Let's take some pot shots at the leg. Definitely struggling to pathfind around in here, which is fine by me, absolutely fine by me. Oh, there's two legendaries. dog Right, I'll take some aid myself. Oh, there's a cigarettes. Ah, okay, so they give you more XP. Right, that's what that does. Yeah, what are those things? Bug plants. Right. So was there two legendaries or yes there was oh martyr oh lovely yes definitely it's worse than it's going to be worse um like protection wise than the uh the leather armor but yeah I'm not going to say no to martyr gear especially considering how bad i am at keeping track of my uh, my health bar when i'm low Reload very slowly. Ah, I missed. Oh, there's a few of them. I want to use the silent shot so the friends wouldn't hear. I can't figure that way down though. We oh, didn't drop anything. That's bloody rude. Oh, 
stairs, so I don't know if they figure their way down yet. Oh, jeez, that's terrifying. Uh... Okay, I like that. They can hear they can hear me when I'm downstairs, but they can't hear me when I'm on the same level as them. Ah, and there's one of the chain doors. A lot of duct tape and some wonder glue. Just another basic Ooh, weapons away bench. Oh, I did get gun nut, actually. Uh, yeah, let's have a look, see what I can do. See if I can get my... Um... Okay, so I'm trying to receive it, but I don't really want to do that. Um... <laughs> Just get rid of the barrel entirely. <laughs> that seems a bit dumb. Um... Ferryman's friend. Now, can I get that up? Ooh, I need gun nut four. So that's the thing, if I, could, if I could increase the damage of that and make it better than the... Uh... Or oh, if I put a hardened receiver on it, it becomes better than the the crude. Sure. Huh. <laughs> I can send it. Or <laughs> you can make it explosive. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, the Pride Meridian at Greenwich, located in London, marks the starting point for measuring longitude and serves as the reference line for the Greenwich Mean Time. Established in 1884, it holds historical and navigational significance, symbolising the division between eastern and western hemispheres. Tourists visit the Royal Observatory in Greenwich to stand astride this iconic line where time and space intersect, offering a glimpse into humanity's quest for precision and global coordination. And we've got this, which is it's clearly like the motor from like a, a vault door open, opening thing. Black. The Royal Observatory has various uses, one of which was to provide a hand in imp improving early mariner chronometers. Defined by the Royal Observatory's large red time ball, this would allow sea captains to calibrate their chronometers before setting sail. Each day at 12.55, the, boil the, boil? the ball is hoisted halfway up its mast and at exactly... And at exactly 1300 hours, the ball would drop, signalling to navigators on ships and in docks along the Thames to be prepared. The first public time signal in the country was broadcast here in 1833 by dropping the aforementioned time ball at a predetermined time. So yeah, I was saying last time about the time ball. I wasn't going mad. And it is actually called the time ball as well. <laughs> so I wonder, cause that's, that's the time ball thing there, I think. I wonder if that does actually drop at like one o'clock in the afternoon I mean it's already at half mast which it's supposed to do at like midday uh, well, given that it's nine o'clock in the morning I'm not going to wait around for several hours for it to, to do that so oh red stag do with uh, a bit more red stag meat and I'll just use it up there Some grilled red stick. Actually, it might not be over encumbered anymore now that I've. Uh... I like how red red stags are marked as not hostile. The rabbit is marked as hostile. Did it not even die? Oh, it didn't. Well, that's what you get for not dying. <laughs> you die. <laughs> You didn't die. Well, do that. <laughs> Any more nymphs about in here? Something, because the brackets are shuffling. Oh, it's a Raja. I hadn't seen Raja yet. Uh, what have I got in terms of throwables? I've got one grenade and one molly. 
Uh, oh, how tough could a Raja really be? Well, kill the dog immediately. I mean, dog using up all my stim packs. Okay, so that's a Raja. It's basically a bear. More nymphs. It's a big place, Greenwich Park. Nymphs are very close to discovering me. It's, it's difficult traveling during the day because uh, I can't really hide anywhere anymore. Oh, I've got a beer glass on the map. That must mean I'm finally getting close. Some foxes. Oh, something's seen me. Oh, I think the foxes see me. Yeah, foxes are coming. Excuse me. You're just stuck in the bushes, so I'm just gonna. Of course, at the moment. The dog gone down again. Oh, fuck it. Churchill, I'm. <laughs> You're not having any more stim packs. You're addicted, mate. More red stag. I've seen a lot of red stag does. I haven't seen a red stag uh, male yet. Yeah, they're seeing me, that's fine. I have no qualms with you. Don's Cafe. Hmm. I wonder if this is a cafe that I'm allowed to enter or whether this one's gonna just crash the game as well. I'm gonna drop a quick save just in case. Nope, this one's fine. Agree. Uh, no shuffling on the brackets. I think we're pretty clear. Semi skimmed milk. Love that. Coffee tin. Oh, just dog. <laughs> Ruining my bit. Cherry. Whiskey. Some bonus beans. An inaccessible door. There's a lot of them. Ooh, apple pie. I do like a bit of apple pie. Apple sauce. Receipts. Is that like an actual readable thing, or is that just a, a junk item? Uh, I'm guessing it's a, yeah, it's a cloth. The red slags have come over. Alright. We're less than 90 units away. I don't know if it's metres or feet or what. Yeah, we'll chill, we'll chill. Alright, I'm expecting gunfire any second. Oh. Ah!
No, don't shoot him. Wait, did they kill? Well, they... they killed her pretty bloody quickly. Like going in. Oh, Chicho found something. We found something a pretty blooming long way away. I'll, I'll, I'll find it later, mate. We're just gonna one by one head into here. Oh, that was <laughs> that was great. Hmm. Well, there's suits. What is a cherry bomb? I picked one up earlier. Okay, it's a junk item. Oh, seriously, this is all stealing. Hey, you that fresh face Gaunt mentioned? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I noticed a scout hang back and leg it when things swung our way. If they bring him back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. I need you to stop him. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. Alright. Oh, Dom's Cafe. Okay, that's where I just came from. Literally. Surprise, motherfucker! I didn't ask any questions, I, I just it just took them out straight away. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in the wall over here. I've been jumping over the, <laughs> the pin barricade. It's quite a nice area around here, isn't it? You sound like Archie. Blinding, this is a long one. I haven't been on this long in a while. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, come on, game. I'm wasting recording time here. I haven't had like a the little pop up thing to say it's crashed. Just pause the recording for a minute. Five minutes later. Okay, this is really weird. I've also fallen out of the game. The game is closed, yet the music is still playing. <laughs> Um, it's not coming up on the, the OBS, you can't hear it, I can hear it in my head, in fact, hang on. Now you can hear it, it's still going, <laughs> the, 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 the game is closed, um, there's, there's no, nothing playing right now, the game is, the only thing open is OBS and the voice mods. Um, I might do a, a quick restart of my computer and uh, come right back. Alright, I tried it again, I came to the other door this time and it seemed to work, so, uh... Hello, I'm back. Get them? Yep. Good. You seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Here. Thanks. Over here is the Swan and Mitre, the most ancient pub in the whole of London. Us vagabonds have had our home here for decades. Even through the toughest times. We have some other safe houses, but let's keep them ash for now. Follow me and I'll get you acquainted with our chiefs. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrub. I need to Did your mum teach you better? Never mind what Gaunt says. You walked into me! He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. Jill Winston said they fished you out some lab down the pinder. If I still had eyes, I'd say you were pulling the wool over him. But Gaunt backed him up, and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man, and I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. So is there something he's doing around here? Feel free to ask around. 
We're always short-handed here and there. I've got a bit of work for you myself, in fact. What do you need? Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? Here's the broken radio. Go find Chill Winston and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bullet Tooth Anthony is a workbench for when you got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? Alright, I'll get started on it. Nelson says he needs his radio fixed. Hey, let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. One of my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong. But after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford High Street to check in on things, and get me the package if it's ready. Oh yeah, I wanted to nip up here and have a look at the uh, the uh, corpses. See if there's any, anything worth nicking. Oh, wait, is there not actually a way up? Well, there's got to be a way up. I hoped. <laughs> well, you can't give me a leg up, can you? No, never mind. Uh, a barrel or a box or something I can grab. Oh, they cleaned up the bodies already. Dang it, I think they have. Well, they did say they were running low on ammo, so that makes sense, I suppose. Caution. What exactly? I have no idea. Bromley. It's another beefy a burger. Big eye on brew sign. Asmo. Are you the person I'm looking for? Uh, I don't think you are, but... Oh, wait, you were the guy I saw before! Finest suits of armor in these air parts, I tell ya. Yeah, let's see what you got. Shock. Take your pick. You were the guy that saved me from the blowflies. Oh, well, good to see you again. Uh, right, I've actually got some armor to sell you. You can have that. Uh, cunning... I've currently got on my right arm. Braced, buttressed, hooligan. Yeah, you can have that as well. Um, oh wait, I could just, I, the, the cigar is a... Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I could just wear a cigar. Um, child space helmet. Okay. Um... Yeah, not really a whole lot here of interest to me. I might just grab the bandana for the dog. Because I wanted to give the dog something. Choo choo! Okay, that was a weird noise. Uh, here, have a, have a bandana. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, well, at least I know where this guy's supposed to be. I, don't, I, st I still don't know why he he turned up at, uh, outside Thames Haven. Maybe he does, like, travel. I did see some caravan guards in the last episode that seemed to be minus a caravan, so maybe he's supposed to travel around and it's a bit bugged. Ruddy hooligans!
Huh. There's no grenade or a monosaur somewhere. Oh. Wait, where did, <laughs> where did she come from? Oh, they're up on the roof. Okay. Hello. Uh. Sure. I don't know how that first one died. She just like fell for no reason. Ooh, frag grenades. Nice. Hi. Right. Trees growing up everywhere. It's like that shit episode of Doctor Who. Oh, man, series eight was really not a, a good time for Peter Capaldi. Ooh, Bromley Station. I'm oh, sorry, Bromley South. My bad. Oh. Oh, I don't have a. Grenade equipped. Now I do. Have a banana! <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm just reloading. Uh, give me a second. Thank you! Right, well, the fact there's hooligans about suggests uh, or kind of uh, implies what happens to uh, thingy already. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's no idea. Is that the person I'm looking for? I assume so. Oh, God. A lot of people about. Hello. A banana. <laughs> ah. Somebody, somebody, they were. Oh, my aim sucks. There we go. <laughs> Bromley College, is it? Yeah, well, so have I. Hide among the rats for all I care. We'll find you eventually. Oh, milk cow died. Oh, free, free water, uh, free, uh, meat. Hey. Hello. I guess I have you to thank. Those hooligans were ruining my lovely shop. <laughs> what Ruddy hooligans. Uh, Winston sent me. He says his supplies running late. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Good old vagabonds looking after us measly shopkeepers. Us poor lowly dealers subject to the whims and terrors of fate. We're very grateful, we are. Well, well. <laughs> I have that Winston fellow's package here. Take it to him, will ya? My usual runner got scared off and now I've got some clear up to do. But listen here, I am grateful to you for helping out. You need some supplies? I will give you the best prices, all ethically sourced, of course. Of course, I'm sure, yes. Right, well, uh, with that sorted, I guess I will uh, call it a part there. Uh, and I'll deliver Winston's package to him and sort out what's his face's radio and all of that gubbins. But as I say, that'll happen next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, all that good stuff. I've been Saving the Twelve, and I'll see you next time. Bye.